In this short tutorial, I want to go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and attach files, uh, any kind of files actually, PDF files, Word documents, spreadsheets, uh, to lesson plans. So in this example, we're using Google Calendar as an organization tool for lesson plans for a hypothetical um, set of classes that uh, I'm teaching. You can see I have a few agenda items already loaded in for a particular set of days here in my calendar. Uh, and my next step is I want to go ahead and attach a PDF of some lesson plans that I have uh, actually for science for this particular um, uh, part of my agenda right here, which is the second item for this uh, uh, for Wednesday, June 8th. By default, Google Calendar does not allow you to attach documents uh, onto calendar entries. The simple way we're going to get around that is actually a labs feature uh, that is now available. When within calendar, go ahead up to the little configure button, click on the labs area, and right within labs we're going to go ahead and turn on this event attachments item. Now this is a, a labs feature that it will go ahead and allow us to attach uh, PDF files or Word documents or anything we'd like to um, clip onto a particular agenda item on our calendar entry. So we're going to enable that. Let's go back up to the top, click on Save, and now if we go ahead into this particular item on our agenda, we click on that, and you'll see where this says Add Attachment, right under this area here, right under the, uh, the description. If we click on that, we'll get the option to either attach a Google Doc, which is a possibility, uh, but actually this time we want to go ahead and just upload a file uh, straight from our computer. I'm going to go ahead and choose a PDF that I have here, which is available right here. I'm going to click on Open, and as you can see, the file name has been pre-populated into our file list here. If I wanted to convert it into a Google Doc, I could definitely do so using this check mark. I actually want to leave it as a PDF. So I'm going to uncheck that last option, and I'm going to click on Upload. And after a short delay, our PDF file will be uploaded, and you'll see it as an attachment right here on our, on our entry. If we click on Save, that attachment is now saved on that item, and if this was shared between teachers or even possibly between students, they would definitely have access to that file as long as the sharing settings were set properly uh, with, uh, between the two parties. I hope you learned something, and uh, now you can go ahead and attach items to your uh, class schedule agenda uh, very easily.